Okay, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We're back with uh, Olick, our patient. This is a live uh, video recording. We've come to that point now. We're going to use this preliminary impression, this alginate, and we're going to fill it with a material. This is called Integrity. It happens to be shade A2. Olick's shade is going to be a B2, D2 shade. So we'll squeeze a little bit of this out first, then squeeze some in in a number three position. Usually just keep the tip submerged within. We got a one minute timer that's set. We're going to go in the mouth and we're going to inject some in the mouth. We'll dry that gently. Just gently, that's good. The suction the lower. And we're just going to squirt some in there like so. Squirt some in there like so. You're out. Okay, and we'll put this back in place. Right into position. Yep, like that. Close all the way down and stay closed for a full minute. All right. Um, I'm going to use a couple instruments right now. I'm going to use uh, a scaler. I'm going to make sure that we don't use just a little bit of water. We don't want to have a lot of water in there, just enough to maybe break the seal of the temporary. So all it's staying closed nicely. We got a timer that's set. At the time of insertion, when we put this in the mouth, we set the timer for one minute. Uh, with any luck, we'll go ahead and get this out in one piece, and then we'll set his temporary aside. Uh, we'll have a pair of cotton pliers ready, too, just in case. All right. So, again, we're here live. I'm going to turn my light on now, although this was light sensitive. We won't touch it, you know, for five minutes, but we just want to get a get a carbon copy of what's going on inside and uh, so we're coming up on that minute now you can see how he's hitting end to end and open great so stay out for a second no suction just gonna pull this back with a little bit of water in there now get that out and now have you closed down again tap 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 grind your teeth side to side Good. Open. And we'll just take some of this excess and get rid of it. And I'm just going to gently come in manually here and just gently tease this out. Here we go. I got it. Yep. Okay. Hold on. Nope. Yep. Put that to you. Okay. Okay. You can see the excess. Hold on. Let me just tease this out gently. I've got it. Perfect. Okay, there's his temporary. And that's what it looks like. It's a little excess right there. And we'll just take a pair of scissors and we'll trim this now. And we'll set it aside. So you got a nice replica of what's in the mouth. Now, we'll get a pair of scissors. And we'll trim that. You're just going to trim away the excess. Simple, right? A little bit of flash. Checking thickness, too. You can also take a thickness gauge and check the, the overall thickness of the restoration. I think we're pretty consistent throughout. Uh, we did everything right. We checked our, our um, burr selection. Now, he's had this occlusal area reduced because he had a root canal. So we can almost add composite in here, but we've got cuss tip adjustments to make. Let's make sure that if we do get his occlusion right, great, then we can cement this in. Alright, so next step, we're cleaning up their preparary preparation. Moving right in with that. And uh, you okay, Oleg? Any bad taste at all? And, um, okay, so I'm just going to peruse around. I'm going to dry off our tooth to see if there's any smear layer. And you can see how shiny that is. So we've got a still a lot of, uh, a lot to clean up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me pop that out. That's excess. This all this on the surface, I got I got to clean this off. And there's excess everywhere, so you got to be really mindful. After you, if you're going to do the impression, 
or do your temporary first, you've got to make sure that you're scrubbing the occlusal aspect thoroughly, and otherwise it's going to be part of your impression. You don't want that. Again, just continue to polish surfaces and look at the lower. You know? Alrighty. Very nice. Consistent results. Right, just making sure we got everything cleaned up out of there. Out, please. I'm just going to use the brush just to check, make sure there's nothing else in there. Looks good. that off and dry it and we'll put a new dry angle in there okay. and we'll put that dry angle in there now the microsuction first. And sometimes I'll see some things that I might be able to improve, maybe, maybe not. We'll see after I use the microsuction. Uh, just make sure I got that first cord in there nicely tucked away. That's a critical point and I just have to make one note to my uh, hygienist Gail I can come down and talk to her uh, about her TMJ it's just the uh, it's going to be probably about another 10 more minutes so if she can hold on Thank you. Okay. Now I can see 360 degrees all the way around our tooth. We'll pass this back and we're going to go right to the next cord. And that is our Siltrax. That's not our Siltrax. This is actually our standard two ply. I'm going to lead with one. That's it. that in. Now you can see how tight it is in the distal and the mesial. So we're going to take this and just put a part of it in there. Just slip it one end in first. One strand should do it. Actually I'll just take this and we'll just pull it apart. There we go. I would just use one strand of return.
subtraction will go around. Well, sometimes we'll go around twice with the same uh, diameter. There we go. A little better. There we go. Yeah. I'll take the micro microsuction now. So as I pack, sometimes I'll go right to the microsuction and just try to keep it as dry as I can throughout. And look at other teeth too in the adjacent side. But there's a lot of flow going on, a lot of fluid, and you got to be really mindful of that as you're placing the retraction cord. As all of a sudden you push it in and it pops out, push it in and pops out. Okay, gold instrument. So basically bottom line right now is just to make sure we stay in the sulcus with the second cord, get something in there. So it's pushing the first cord back a little bit and that we're able to get the sulcular tissue out of the way, away from the margin, so we can capture the image of the margin. That's the key. No matter wha if you're scanning or if you're taking a, a, BP, a PBS like what we're going to do, I'll go back to the suction again. And we'll transfer this back. Probably put a cotton roll up in there now. Now it's suction down below. Yep. Okay. Now we're turning the corner. drying out the cord before I pack it. Okay. Now we just turn in the corner. Now this cord will stay in for approximately five minutes and then we'll remove it bef right before the impression so you'll get to see how we do all that. Alright. Second cord being demonstrated right now going in And then we'll follow with some another piece of the same cord, and we can just slide that right on top of it. But I, I just try to get as much clearance as I can. And uh, some of this cord I'll have to go back to the floor to push it in between. Anatomy's a little tight down in there. I may just redefine that margin a little bit now that I'm staring at it. And I think I'll do the same on this one a little bit. Alright. It's going in nicely. Alright. Well, New Year's was great. I'm hoping that everybody had a little place to, s to be on New Year's out there, celebrating the new
coming of uh, 2012. We're going to switch now. We'll go ahead and suction again. Keeping it dry. All right. There's a lot of saliva in here. Well, we might even switch and put our suction tip on this side. It's pretty ropey. Oh, I'm going to move that over because we can't afford to get you wet back there. Looks like you already went up there, so we have to dry that. Let me have another tip on this. Let's see if it's still working. Looks like it's still working. Oh, I'm going to just polish a couple of spots while that cord's in there. I'll avoid the cord. I just want to reintroduce a feathering technique. You got to, Oleg, just try to keep your tongue down if you can. All right. I know it's hard. To so the distal, I'm going to go back there and just polish that a little bit. So I'm going to do that now, and then when we come back, we'll get this impression. All right, Dr. Jerry Cuomo, see you at the uh, oh, second to last clip or so.